Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to prevent or stop siphoning when you pump your water. So what siphoning is, is when you start your pump and your water starts to flow, if the elevation of the water flow is lower and it's running for a decent line, what can happen is, is the gravity pull of the water can start actually continue the pump flow even after the flow stops. And what will happen there is the, the reservoir will actually deplete and yeah, it all happens all in one watering, so that kind of sucks. So if you can look at our setup right here, right now, we have a little bit of siphoning action going on. It's just got a tad, you can kind of, I don't know if you can see that dripping. And the reason that started is we raised our reservoir above elevation to kind of, kind of mimic that, um, just to kind of see if we'd have that problem. So taking a look at our reservoir, is you, I don't know if you guys can see this, but the, the pipe is still full. There's still water in there. So the way we're going to stop our siphoning and just kind of show you how to exaggerate this a little bit, what we're going to do is we're going to place our reservoir on top of this box. Okay, so we've put our reservoir on a box and all that did there is we've increased the elevation to exacerbate the siphoning problem. So it doesn't look like anything's happening, but water is flowing through the system right now and the pump is off. So, so it's coming down here, and this gravity is what's pulling it down. So all this, this, this weight of the water pulling down, it's coming through here. And as if you look, we've got a nice steady drip. And that's not good, because that will deplete our reservoir pretty quickly. Um, and it, you come over here, it's happening in pretty much all the nozzles. Even on this one. And it'll be worse the higher the reservoir is compared to where you're delivering the plants based on the run line too. So all that factors in. So to prevent this, the first thing we're gonna do is, what we wanna do is basically poke a hole, a pinhole in the highest point of our line. So we wanna make the highest point of our line be inside our reservoir right here. And the way I'm gonna do that is, I'm gonna put twist ties on both sides That'll A, help the clear to be secured inside the reservoir and prevent algae growth, but also ensure that the highest point of the reservoir is right about here, and that's where we're gonna poke our hole. So let me go ahead and get these twist ties in place. All right, I've installed twist ties here. So most of the plastic tubing is now on the inside of the reservoir, and that will prevent algae growth because the light won't be able to hit the clear tubing, but also it's holding this tube in, in place. So now all we need to do is just poke a very tiny hole at the top part of the wire, and that's right about, right about there. That little bubble right there, that's a good indicator of where the highest point in the system is. That's where we're going to poke our hole. That tells us exactly the highest point of the system. Don't have a pin, but I've got some very sharp tweezers. Okay, make sure your hole is big enough so that the water comes out of the tube. You'll see the water leaving the air enter the tube. And that's really what you want. You want air in the system. It's very important that your hole is at the highest point in the system. If it's not in the highest point of the system, it'll keep drawing water from the reservoir. So our hole is at the highest point in the system. And you'll be able to tell when the water stops is that you'll be able to see the airflow into the pipe as well as the water kind of deplete out of the pipe. If you see a bunch of bubbles like this, that means it's not at the highest point of the system. As you can see, the bubbles are going, but water just keeps coming. Now this is what it should look like when it's at the highest point of the system. You can see water coming away from the hole there's no more water going through the pipe past the hole and that water will slowly start to drop. And that's what you want to see right after the pump stops if you have your siphon uh, prevention set up appropriately. Now there's nothing but air in the tube and water is no longer flowing. That's what we want to see. So that's a successful siphon prevention setup. All you got to do is poke a hole in the highest point of your system and make sure you secure your hose so it stays the highest point in your system. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.